Hey guys, I hope you're all doing wonderful. Today we are doing another cook dinner with me. I'm gonna do voiceover for the rest of this video, but I just wanted to check in, say hey, and remind you that you have food at home. So look through your refrigerator, look through your cupboards, get that food, and we're gonna cook some dinner. So let's go. So tonight we're making shrimp bowls. A little spoiler, I will never buy this shrimp again, but we'll get to that. I have some sweet potato, super grains, spicy guacamole from Whole Foods, grape tomatoes, some cucumber, which I didn't actually end up using, and some green beans. I also used some of my tried and true <laughs> roasted garlic barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's. So I let the shrimp defrost in a bowl while I cut up the vegetables, started with the sweet potatoes. If you've watched my previous Cook Dinner With Me videos, you know my bag trick. I always keep a plastic bag on the counter because it's so much easier to collect the trash. Now time for a little magic trick. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> so I cut up my sweet potato, put it on a tray with some parchment paper, used my garlic olive oil, which is my favorite from Trader Joe's. Like I'm sure I've told you this like 10 times already. And then my favorite 21 seasoning and then just mix it all up and put it in the oven on 400 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes and halfway you're gonna just, you know, um, turn them over. Time for the super grains. I added two cups of water and one cup of the super grains. So I had some leftover green beans from the farmer's market. So I definitely wanted to add these. I'm really trying to be more intentional about not having waste. So using up everything that we have before doing another big shop or, you know, like resulting to Uber Eats or to DoorDash. I deleted both apps from my phone, like literally. So I cut off the ends from the green beans and then I added some oil to my cast iron, which looks a complete mess because my husband put it in his smoker. So that's why it <laughs> looks like that. Now I wanted to check on the shrimp. This shrimp caused me problems. But anyway, I added the green beans to the cast iron skillet. I added a little bit of water too because I wanted it to be able to steam and I just left it for about 15 to 20 minutes to cook. So let's talk about this shrimp. It took me at least 30 minutes to clean and devein the shrimp, even though on the packet it says devein. So that was a little irritating. I probably won't be buying this again. No, I will not be buying this shrimp again. So I took my sweet potatoes out of the oven and just turned them over. They were perfectly crisp. I love sweet potato. I could probably eat sweet potato every day. I just love it. Now onto the green beans, the same thing. I just checked on them and just swished them around a little bit. <laughs> and now this was me again, just tired of debating the shrimp. But I did it, all clean, added some lemon, and then I just washed it one last time before adding all of my seasonings and then putting it on the stove. So I added just a little bit of my sriracha barbecue sauce. Believe me when I say that this sauce adds flavor and amazing taste to everything. So I'm cooking the shrimp on the stove. My goal is for it to stew because I'm gonna also add some tomatoes and then a little bit more of the barbecue sauce. I've done this a few times before and we really enjoyed it. So I thought, you know what? Like I had all the ingredients for it. So I thought I'd make it again. So I have this picture of my grandma in my kitchen seasoning chicken in Jamaica and I know she's probably saying to me, Shandy, you have to cook Jamaican food, you know? So <laughs> I need to start cooking some more Jamaican food. My grandma was something special. 
Uh, my mom will be visiting from London in the next month. And when she does come, we will be cooking a lot together. So I will be doing some exciting cook dinner with me, featuring more Jamaican cuisine. So the shrimp is slowly coming together. I then add some of the barbecue sauce and then I just kind of let it stew for an additional 10 minutes. You don't want it to be overcooked, but at this point it's like, I mean, it's not gonna taste bad or anything, but you don't want it to be rubbery. So I let the barbecue sauce cook in it for a little bit longer, and then you're gonna see how lovely it comes together. So this is after five minutes, and then this is after 10 minutes. So as you can see, it's cooked up nicely and now we're ready to plate the food so i've noticed i have been cooking a lot of the same things the past few months but one thing when it comes to creating a new habit the most important thing is actually doing the thing and my goal has been to cook more meals at home rather than resulting to uber eats and doordash and i am accomplishing that mission so this is your reminder that whatever new habits you are trying to make it will take time, you will get better, but the most important thing is that you get started. So who knows what my meals are gonna look like a year from now, but one thing I know for sure is I'm gonna keep on cooking. So I added in some of the spicy guacamole because I mean, who doesn't love guacamole? Well, my husband doesn't love guacamole, but he actually enjoyed the spicy guacamole. So um, the meal was a success, it was delicious, tasty and I'm so excited to continue cooking dinner with you.